Breaking FBI tries to discredit Nunez memo. Devin Nunez responds. Hello, folks. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times. And as you guys heard, the FBI is trying to discredit Nunez's memo. It says this comes courtesy of The Hill and it says FBI warns it has grave concerns about omissions in Nunez memo. You heard it right, folks. It says in a rare public statement on Wednesday, the FBI said that it has grave concerns about the Republican crafted memo alleging corrosive abuse of the United States surveillance powers by the Justice Department that is expected to be released in the coming days. President Donald Trump yesterday at the State of the Union, um, they're saying on hot mic, but he knew exactly what he was doing because there was a camera right in front of him. Uh, one of the one of the lawmakers asked him, are we going to release the memo? Let's release the memo. And President Trump responds by saying, yes, don't even worry about it. It's coming. And the White House has said that they're trying to expedite the process so the memo can be released as soon as possible. So it's coming, folks. It's coming very, very soon. So the FBI said in a statement, quote, with regards to the House Intelligence Committee's memorandum, the FBI was provided with a limited opportunity to review this memo the day before the committee voted to release it. They went on to say, quote, as expressed during our initial review, we have grave concerns about material admissions of fact that fundamentally impact the memo's accuracy. So that's what they're saying. They're trying to cover up for all those crooked people, folks. Intel Intelligence Committee Republicans, led by Chairman Devin Nunez, Republican of California, voted to release the document, which we act actually uh, streamed it live here at Golden State Times. Um, it says that, uh, I'm sorry, it says Intelligence Committee Republicans led by Chairman Devin Nunez voted to release the document over the strident objections of the committee Democrats. In other words, Schiff. It says, who says it was cherry picked, set to inaccurate accusations designed to kneecap special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into the Trump campaign. So what they're trying, the way that they're trying to spin it, the Democrats is saying that the reason why they're going to release this memo is in order to go after Rod Rosenstein. Okay, uh, going after Rod Rosenstein means that um, essentially Mueller and his investigation is done, and that's what the Democrats are saying is that the reason these Republicans did this, the reason that Nunez is, is to uh, help President Trump take down Mueller and his investigation. So that is what they're trying, that, that's the narrative that they're trying to push. Okay, when in reality, this memo basically states that the NS, that all of these intelligence agencies, including the DOJ and the FBI, colluded with the, with, uh, with the Obama administration, the DNC and Hillary Clinton to undermine the election in 2016. And make it in favor of Hillary Clinton because they wanted her in the White House. But it never happened, nor will it ever happen. Okay, so it says that the decision to release the document now rests with President Trump. President Trump does have it. And like I said, the White House says that they're going to expedite the process in order to get this memo out as soon as possible. Who has five days to decide whether or not to allow its publication. Right now, I think we're going into its third day, so it should be coming probably by the end of this week, if not Monday for sure, next Monday. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to definitely be talking about this. We're going to have a live stream about this. We are going to uh, be publishing on our website about this. When it actually gets published, we will do an event and read about it, talk about it, and you guys can, you know, send your questions in and maybe get some calls in and stuff like that. We can definitely talk about this stuff because I think it's very, very interesting. And a lot of people, a lot of lawmakers that saw it before it actually uh, was voted to be released said that they were extremely concerned. They were troubled about the information that that memo has, about what, it, what was written on that memo. 
It says that this is something that the public needs to see. The type of corruption that there was in the Obama administration. So after this came out, Devin Nunez actually fired back at the FBI for spurious objections to memo release. This also comes courtesy of The Hill. And it says, Representative Devin Nunez, I'm sorry, Devin Nunez, a Republican of California, fired back at the FBI and the Department of Justice on Wednesday for what he called spurious objections to the release of the GOP-authored memo, uh, per, saying that this shows abuse of surveillance powers by the agencies. So... Devin Nunez, in a in a um, in a report, said, "Quote: Having stonewalled Congress demands for information for nearly a year, it's no surprise to see that the FBI and the DOJ issue spurious objections to allowing the American people to see information related to the surveillance abuses of these agencies. They're trying to cover their own asses, folks. That's all it is." Nunez and his staff compiled the memo from classified material provided by the DOJ and FBI. Numerous Republicans, as well as the White House, has been advocating for its release, which may happen this week. Like I said, it could happen towards the end of the week, Friday, or it could happen the latest Monday. Monday, folks, if the president does not leave the White House... This weekend, if he doesn't go to New York or if he doesn't go down to Florida, something really huge is coming this week. This week that's coming up. Make sure you guys stay tuned because we're going to be covering this, folks. We're very interested. We want to make sure that you guys are up to date on everything that's going on. So make sure you guys stay tuned here at Golden State Times. The other thing that happened today was that Trey Gowdy has officially said that he is not running for re-election in 2018. He says that he will rather go back to practicing law. Now, a lot of people on social media were saying, you know what, Q talked about this. He called it weeks ago, two weeks ago, actually, where he explained that, you know, TW, or I mean, I'm sorry, uh, uh, TG is going to step down. TG is not needed to um, to be interviewed. He's not needed to testify. Um, why is TG or Trey Gowdy, you know, why is he stepping down from from politics and going into uh, going back into law? Is it a positioning thing? So, you know, they're, they're trying to, you know, uh, I guess Q's trying to like paint a picture of who might be this special counsel or who might be this person that's going to be appointed. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So it's pretty interesting stuff, everything that is happening, folks. So it says, uh, it, it finishes off by saying that on Wednesday, the FBI issued a rare public statement, like I was saying before, that they have uh, suspicions, that they have grave concerns, that what they saw in that memo might be false. And they've been trying to push this since before the the vote came up. As you guys can remember, Schiff, when he came out and talked about what had happened in the vote, because the vote was in, you know, behind closed doors, he said, oh, well, we crafted a memo ourselves. And we wanted the, the committee to release both our memo and the memo that they want to release from, from Nunez. And they said, well, you know what? They, they chose not to release our memo, but they chose to release Devin Nunez's memo. All right. So the spin has been being crafted since the very beginning. To be honest with you, the, the, the spin has been crafted. And this is another thing. I'm not a huge, huge follower of Q. But I saw this a few weeks ago and it was very interesting because they said, you know what, the spin is on at 4 a.m. And they were talking about, you know, it was when the whole memo thing started trending and they said, you know what, the memo has, I mean, the, the spin has started. All of the mainstream media are going to be sent their talking points at 4 a.m. So that's very cryptic within, within itself, but the spin had begun and 
it's starting right now. As you guys can see, the FBI, then the mainstream media is going to pick up on this. And then the mainstream media is going to push this saying, you know what? Um, all of these intelligence uh, uh, agencies are saying that this is all fake. So when it comes out, they're going to attack it as fake using the FBI and the DOJ as their, uh, you know, as their resource saying, oh, well, the DOJ said it was fake. Oh, well, the FBI said it was fake. So why would you believe it? And a lot of people can be brainwashed into believing that, that everything on that thing is fake, on that memo is fake, just because they're saying that the FBI and the DOJ are saying that it's fake. So what needs to happen is that the DOJ, which means Jeff Sessions, needs to come out. Director Ray from the FBI needs to come out. They both need to say, you know what? We actually saw the memo. There's nothing wrong with the memo. All of the stuff that you guys are hearing on the mainstream media, CNN, Fox News, uh, New York Times, whatever, it's all 100% fake. There is nothing on this memo that is false. Everything has come from classified material. It is just snippets of that classified material in a memo that was sent to lawmakers. Okay? So that's what needs to happen. The pressure needs to be put on, on Sessions and the pressure needs to be put on uh, Christopher Ray, which is the FBI director. Both of those need a ton of pressure being put on them. So when the memo gets released, it, it does not get bombarded by the mainstream media, by the Democrats and the DNC as, uh, as not factual because the FBI and the DOJ are saying it wasn't or there was grave concerns. Because all they're doing right now, the FBI and the DOJ, is giving the mainstream media ammunition to be able to destroy the memo before it even gets published. And that cannot happen. They cannot, people cannot allow the mainstream media, the Democrats, and the DNC to undermine this publication because it's so, so important. Devin Nunez is coming out and saying, you know what, this is spurious obje uh, objections to actual fact, to stuff that can be backed up by fact. So let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. What will happen? When will the memo be released? President Donald Trump is in the process. They're expediting the process, but it might happen by the end of this week, most likely Monday of next week. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Keep your eye on the president this weekend. If he leaves the White House, then, you know, who knows? There might be a delay on the memo. If the president hasn't released it by Friday and he stays at the White House, make sure that you guys tune in on Monday because it's definitely coming on Monday. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jen. If you guys like this report, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are in support of Nunez, give this a thumbs up. If you guys are sad that Trey Gowdy is leaving politics and going back to, um, to law, let us know in the comment section below. And if you guys want the memo released ASAP, make sure you guys smack a like on this video too. Subscribe if you're new, like I said. If you just joined us today, welcome. And I hope that you guys join us next time. Make sure you guys also check out our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's goldenstatetimes.com. And you sign up to our newsletter using the link in the description below. That newsletter is sent to your inbox every single day, packed full of news, videos, everything that we have covered or published. Everything gets sent straight to your inbox every single day. So that way you stay up to date on everything that is going on, everything that we cover everything that is going on in politics, breaking news, and everything else in between. If there's any live streams, we'll be streaming them uh, in the next coming days. If not, uh, everything will go back to normal on Monday because usually after the State of the Union, the president uh, takes a few days and so does all the lawmakers. They go to a retreat in Virginia, uh, which today something happened there where the uh, a garbage truck uh, slammed into the train and uh, no, the one person was killed. Uh, others were just uh, wounded, but not, you know, 
nothing too serious. Uh, no lawmakers were hurt, so that's a very good thing. And um, and yeah, so if we do have any live streams coming, we will be streaming them here live at Golden State Times. If not, then we're going to be uploading videos and we're going to be uploading and publishing a bunch of news on our website at goldenstatetimes.com. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Peace. Breaking FBI tries to discredit Nunez memo. Devin Nunez responds. Hello, folks. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times. And as you guys heard, the FBI is trying to discredit Nunez's memo. It says, this comes courtesy of The Hill, and it says, FBI warns it has grave concerns about omissions in Nunez's memo. You heard it right, folks. It says, in a rare public statement on Wednesday, the FBI said that it has grave concerns about the Republican-crafted memo alleging corrosive abuse of the United States surveillance powers by the Justice Department that is expected to be released in the coming days. President Donald Trump yesterday at the State of the Union, um, they're saying on hot mic, but he knew exactly what he was doing because there was a camera right in front of him. Uh, one of the one of the lawmakers asked him, are we going to release the memo? Let's release the memo. And President Trump responds by saying, yes, don't even worry about it. It's coming. And the White House has said it happened. Okay. So it says that the decision to release the document now rests with President Trump. President Trump does have it. And like I said, the White House says that they're going to expedite the process in order to get this memo out as soon as possible. Who has five days to decide whether or not to allow its publication. Right now, I think we're going into its third day. So it should be coming probably by the end of this week. If not, Monday for sure, next Monday. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to definitely be talking about this. We're going to have a live stream about this. We are going to uh, be publishing on our website about this. When it actually gets published, we will do an event and read about it, talk about it, and you guys can you know, send your questions in and maybe get some calls in and stuff like that. We can definitely talk about this stuff because I think it's very, very interesting. And a lot of people, a lot of lawmakers that saw it before it actually uh, was voted to be released said that they were extremely concerned. They were troubled about the information that that memo has, about what, it, what was written on that memo. It says that this is something that the public needs to see, the type of corruption that there was in the Obama administration. So after this came out, Devin Nunez actually fired back at the FBI for spurious objections to memo release. This also comes courtesy of The Hill. And it says, Representative Devin Nunez, I'm sorry, Devin Nunez, a Republican of California, fired back at the FBI and the Department of Justice on Wednesday for what he called spurious objections to the release of the GOP authored memo. Uh, per, uh, saying that this shows abuse of surveillance powers by the agencies. So Devin Nunez, in a in a um, in a report, said, "Quote: Having stonewalled Congress demands for information for nearly a year, it's no surprise to see that the FBI and the DOJ issue spurious objections to allowing the American people to see information related to the surveillance abuses of these agencies." They're trying to cover their own asses. They're trying to expedite the process so the memo can be released as soon as possible. So it's coming, folks. It's coming very, very soon. So the FBI said in a statement, quote, with regards to the House Intelligence Committee's memorandum, the FBI was provided with a limited opportunity to review this memo the day before the committee voted to release it. They went on to say, quote, as expressed during our initial review, we have grave concerns about material admissions of fact that fundamentally impact the memo's accuracy. So that's what they're saying. They're trying to cover up for all those crooked people, folks. Intell Intelligence Committee Republicans, led by Chairman Devin Nunez, Republican of California, voted to release the document, which we act actually 
uh, streamed it live here at Golden State Times. Um, it says that, uh, I'm sorry, it says Intelligence Committee Republicans led by Chairman Devin Nunez voted to release the document over the strident objections of the committee Democrats. In other words, Schiff. It says, who says it was cherry-picked, set to inaccurate accusations designed to kneecap special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into the Trump campaign. So what they're trying, the way that they're trying to spin it, the Democrats is saying that the reason why they're going to release this memo is in order to go after Rod Rosenstein. Okay, uh, going after Rod Rosenstein means that um, essentially Mueller and his investigation is done. And that's what the Democrats are saying is that the reason these Republicans did this, the reason that Nunez is, is to uh, help President Trump take down Mueller and his investigation. So that is what they're trying. That, that's the narrative that they're trying to push. OK, when in reality, this memo basically states that the NS that all of these intelligence agencies, including the DOJ and the FBI, colluded with the with uh, with the Obama administration, the DNC, and Hillary Clinton to undermine the election in 2016 and make it in favor of Hillary Clinton because they wanted her in the White House. But it never happened, nor will it ever. Happen.